We're going with like a Farrah Fawcett look because my hair just isn't cooperating, so. It's big, it's poofy, it's in charge. Let me pull up the questions on my phone. I can't sing for shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all about asymmetrical breastuses, or like normal people, boobs. <laughs> this is going to be a updated asymmetrical boob video because I have done one in the past. I will link it up here. I think it was like around two years ago. At the time, I was like super uncomfortable with my boobs and hated them and they were definitely my biggest insecurity and I was really nervous to upload that video and talk about something really personal but the, at the same time I felt like I had to just like for lack of better words get it off my chest <laughs> and um, I did it and I felt so much better afterwards like it was insane like my whole mindset on my boobs changed from that video the response to that video was so positive and i don't know like i felt like a sense of community that i never had felt before i just want to say like if you've seen it and you left a comment thank you now that i've gotten that disclaimer out of the way we can go on to the q a portion of this i asked you guys on instagram if you had any questions and you guys left some <laughs> we're gonna hop right into it the first question is I appreciate the visibility that you bring. I've never seen representation, even though it's pretty common. Um, thank you, and I love you. <laughs> yeah, I learned from that video that it was super common, and I had no idea. I just want to bring awareness to it and not make people feel like how I felt, which was guilty and shameful and feeling like, I don't know like I was my body wasn't how it was supposed to look basically and just because you're brainwashed with like these perfectly symmetrical boobs from the time that you're so little that you think like that's how you're supposed to look and so I don't know more representation there should be more and I hope it becomes like less of a taboo subject next question uh, my sister has asymmetrical boobs and her doctor told her to lose weight. Okay, her doctor is stupid. <laughs> yes, if you lose weight, you probably will have um, less, like you'll, your boobs might shrink. Not everybody's does just because of like how your body stores weight. But I will tell you at the skinniest that I was, they were still asymmetrical. It doesn't have anything to do with like gaining or losing weight. It merely has to do with like how your body like just forms <laughs> from uh, puberty. Like that's when I started to notice that like one was bigger than the other. So I didn't, it wasn't because I gained weight. <laughs> so I got asked a bunch of questions about like what bra do you wear to make them look more even and um, I have uneven boobs too. What bras work for you the most? To be completely honest with you guys, I do not buy bras to make them look more even. <laughs> I just don't care. I buy my bras from rainbowshops.com for about $8 and call it a day. <laughs> That's about it. And then I also buy um, my strapless bra, which I love, is from Torrid and that doesn't really help me look more even. Basically, I don't really try to buy them to make them look even. Like, it's just not really something that I care about. I just realized I forgot to mention that like, the bed isn't made because I'm having somebody over. My first guest, and I'm so excited. It's one of my friends from my hometown and <laughs> I had to like, obviously clean the sheets, so. Yeah, I'm sitting on a bed that's not made. Okay, moving along. <laughs> All right, the next question is, how do you seem so confident about them? I also have them and I'm very self-conscious. 
so I think she just means like how are you so comfortable with having asymmetrical boobs I wasn't <laughs> for a really long time and like I said before finding out that so many people have exactly the same issue as me really did make me feel less alone and I think also time like as I got older I just didn't care anymore like a lot of the social pressures were gone because like at school and stuff when I had a change for PE and like when I used to do dance it was kind of uh, more on my mind because I had to change in front of people now I don't change in front of people so it doesn't bother me as much I think because I was keeping it such a secret it made it bigger than it actually was also I was nervous because I didn't think guys would find me attractive or girls wouldn't find me attractive. I'm bisexual. I feel like some people know that, some people don't. Anyways, so I thought that like people would be unattracted to me because of it and like people just don't care. Like it's all in your head. Like no one cares but you. There you go. I don't know if that's a good answer. <laughs> Here is a big question that I would have had a different answer to before, but the question is, would you ever consider surgery? And in my last video, I mentioned like, if I could, I would do it this second and I would like get surgery immediately, but obviously it costs money. And my view of it has really changed now. If I had the money, like if somebody just handed it to me, I don't think, I would immediately get it. Now I see surgery in like a different way. Like surgery is a big deal. Like not shading anyone that gets surgery, like if it makes you happy, you should do it. But for me, I wasn't really thinking it through. I was just like, yes, it'll fix all of my problems. And it doesn't really. <laughs> um, surgery takes a big toll on your body and the recovery is not easy. I know people make it out like, oh, it's just like a week of recovery and you're good. No, like recovery is a big deal and there's scars and there's other things that go into it. And you're getting put under, like people don't <laughs> talk about this, but like being put under is a big thing, like going under anesthesia. And yeah, I would have to think about it more. If I were to get any surgery, I would probably get LASIK. Uh, I think my eyes come before my boobs. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking, so I have to move on. I have asymmetrical boobs too, and I wanna say thank you for this. We're not alone. Oh my God, I love you. Thank you so much. Sorali? Sorrel I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I suck at pronouncing names. But yeah, you're right. We aren't alone. I hope that that's like the one thing you take away from this. If you have asymmetrical boobs like me, you are not alone. You're not weird. You're not ugly. Your body is perfect the way that it is. And if anybody makes you feel like you're not perfect like they're not meant to be in your life another bra one which bras or bra style works best for you uh i would say like the closure where it goes in the front is the best for me because i'm lazy and <laughs> i like it to just hook in the front and then i can just take it off and it's not a big deal <laughs> not that i'm like flinging off my bra Okay, yeah, I am. Like, the second that I get home, I'm taking off my bra. <laughs> but yeah, like, overall, I am I just don't care about bras. Like, if I don't have to wear one, I don't wear one. Caitlin says, I have asymmetrical boobs too. I love that so many people are saying that they have it. Um, did it ever hold you back from wearing what you wanted to? Yes, and it still does, and that is like the only reason I would ever get surgery <laughs> is because I love fashion and I know that there's so many like things that I don't buy because I know it won't look good or my boobs will like really accentuate the fact that they're asymmetrical. Yeah, that part really sucks. <laughs> like the fact that I can't wear like a deep 
plunging neckline. I don't know how much I would really do it, but I, I would like that option to buy whatever I want um, without feeling self-conscious. Whatever, I still look cute and I still wear cute clothes that I like even if my boobs don't look perfect. I don't, it's fine. A lot of people are asking like what types of bras they should wear and I definitely fit bras to the bigger boob than to the smaller one obviously because I don't want like the bigger one to be like spilling out so I usually go for like a size D cup. I could do a video where I test out some different bras if you guys are interested in seeing how it works on an asymmetrical breast situation. The last question I'm gonna answer is why haven't you gotten them corrected? Are you planning on it? Uh, girl, do you know how expensive it is to get a breast augmentation? It's expensive, okay? I hope that what we can try to like not do is say like, oh, if they're uneven, they need to be corrected. Like there's nothing wrong with them. A breast augmentation is not bad, but it's also not the solution. But yeah, that are, that are, the, those are the questions that you guys asked me so thank you so much if you left a question and follow me on instagram if you want to be part of any future q and a's i'm gonna go now and edit this video and have it up for you guys tomorrow so i hope you guys are having a great weekend and i will talk to you soon bye